What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining us here on Sailor Star Media. I'm your host, Star, as always. Joining me today is Andrew. What's up? And Daniel. Hi. So today we're going to be talking about Ghost Stories. It's an older anime from like the early 2000s. And it was originated back in like the 1990s. But we decided to watch the dub version because it was very uh, interesting, I should say. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> when did the dub version come out? Uh, the dub version, I believe, I'm going to have to double check. Um, but I, I know it was in the two, 2000s because I don't know if you guys kn- knew this, but when I was watching Ghost Stories, um, it had the same like background music during certain scenes as Inuyasha. Did anyone else notice that? I don't know. Uh, if you saw that. No. I did not notice it. Yeah, so I even looked that up and everything, and it it was it was the same creator, but because I guess because the Japanese version of Ghost Stories bombed in Japan, um, you know they kind of sold it over to Aniplex, and they were like, "Here, take this, uh, do whatever you want with it, as long as you keep the name of the ghosts and stuff. Try to make it popular," and they ran with it, like they ad libbed and it worked all of it. (laughs) Wow. Yeah, no, it's and like that's what I'm saying because like what they're what they're saying in the show it sounds very like modernized, like their references. Very, very modernized. Like it, it's honestly quite surprising um, how like many references you actually heard that were like, oh, that actually can relate to anybody that's actually existed since 2000, really. And I think that's I thought it was like a new anime. Oh yeah, no. But okay. You can tell by the art style that like it's not yeah. completely new. Yeah, I thought the dub version of it came out, like, uh, recently or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. When you had me watch it and I was listening to it, it uh, has anyone watched any Abridged series? Oh, well, you mean, like, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged and Dragon Ball Z Abridged? And stuff yeah, like, like yeah. you know, Team yeah. Four Star and all that extra stuff. Yeah, no, um... It, it, that's what I thought I was listening to for like the first couple episodes, and then I actually looked up on YouTube, um the episodes of ghost stories because i was like there's no way that this is the actual uh dubbing of it and i was surprised to find out that it was indeed uh yeah, me too. It was supposed to be <laughs> because i was like what the hell is this <laughs> what? this is a uh, this is crazy um every turn every turn had me uh losing my mind a little bit because i was like what the fuck are these kids talking about <laughs> All right, so real quick, let's go into a little bit of the history for, for Ghost Story. So it was an early 2000 anime. Um, the original run, run run for it was actually October 22nd, 2000 to March 25th in 2001. And that was in Japan. It wasn't until the series was licensed in North America by ADF Films, um, who actually did the English dub for, they replaced apparently the entire script um, to turn into the more comedic one that we all watch together you know Mm -hmm. um it was it wasn't until it was released back in you know 2005 where animax which was the one that broadcasted it and uh literally when when they decided to take it over for the dub they had like four four things that they wanted you know north america to do with the anime they were like Look, I just don't change any of the names of any of the characters, including the ghosts, you know. Don't change the way any ghost is killed as it's based on an Asian ghost legend because, I don't know if you guys knew this, in the the series, all of the things that they encounter, they're actually urban legends. Yeah, Yeah. I I kind of figured. Mm -hmm. I actually looked up, um, what was the one that I looked up? With the grudge? Yep. Well, yeah, definitely the grudge girls. You know the mm-hmm. several then, grudge girls, and then them actually bringing that up in the. <laughs> the t- they're like, "Oh, which uh, anime are we ripping off this time?" Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we've done a grudge already. How many times are we gonna do the girl from the ring? And then they just kept bringing that up. That was hilarious. But the uh, the last two things that they had requested to to maintain during the show was, you know, don't change the meaning of the episode because. At the end of the day, you know, the, every anime show, as we know, it has to have, like, some kind of meaning or some kind of, um, you know. Like, lesson? Like, a lesson to be learned from it. 
And then, like, the last one was, like, they're, like, do whatever you can to make the show successful because it was just, it did so terrible in Japan and a few other countries. So when they told them, do whatever you want to make the show successful, I did not expect them to take the turn of, you know, racial comments, Mm -hmm. uh, bestiality. (laughs) (laughs) I think one of my favorite parts was when, um... What's the little brother's name? I forgot his name. I, he's uh, annoying, though. Yeah, the boy that's always crying. <laughs> yeah. like, wow. He's really annoying. And then he's yeah. like, and when, he, when he walks into the kitchen, and she's like, why are you crying? I told you I'm not going to die. He's like, because the pajamas are gay. Yeah. And she's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. Like, why? I, I like, why that, did that come? I think that's one of my favorite parts. And... I, I know he doesn't show up too much in the show, but I really did like... Um, oh, he shows up a lot. What are you talking about? No, no, no. Uh, the uh, the cat who got possessed by Amanajaku. Oh, yeah. He... I don't know why. It, it just... I have a black cat, so I'm like, if my cat had a voice, I'm pretty sure that's what she would sound like, and she'd be an asshole. Yeah, like he would... Every time he came in, he was roasting everybody there. Like, oh, wow, really? <laughs> You're really stupid, aren't you? I, I, um, I think that he was the first one who brought up, uh, he was telling everybody, like, the kid was retarded. He's like, man, what, are you retarded? And then everyone was like, yeah, no, let's just make this a whole thing. And then they just kept bringing it up. I was like, oh, no, wow. it was, it was a, I think it was a sister. Because uh, uh, when he let the cat out, when he let uh, the cat out, and then she's like, and she's like, are you retarded? And he's like, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, she mocks him. She's like, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then the cat's like, the cat later on is like, you really are retarded. Uh-huh. I think my my favorite line for Amanajaku was, um, it was towards the end. It had been like the second to last episode where he was telling them something and, the, and I didn't expect dead air. And it just has the focus on all five of the kids and it's just really quiet and then it comes back to Amanajaku and he's like you five are the ugliest fucking kids I've ever seen oh yeah oh yeah he, he's just straight I remember because, because it was when that girl was by herself and then he was like wow you guys are pretty useless aren't you oh, oh man, man. It, it was actually really funny and I think it's one of those shows, like, it got popularity, but it's a show that nobody talks about anymore, you know? Like, you see everybody ta- on online talking about, like, you know, mainstream media ga- uh, anime, like, Naruto and Boruto and Bleach and stuff like that. But it's, like, gems like these where I'm, like, people need to see this. This is one of those experiences where you're just, like, I never expected an anime character <laughs> to say some crap like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely going to tell my little brother to watch it because I think he would laugh from it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I think it's very comparative to um, what people now make as far as uh, a, a, a British series goes. Um, I think the reason why we don't really hear people talking about it as much and we don't hear people, like, really going into, like, an anime such as this is because uh the world has become a little bit more um yeah sensitive i, I was gonna say like eh, a little, little more, more political but yeah it's more sensitive as far as uh certain subjects go um because i remember one of the parts was uh <laughs> when they were on the track field and that one kid was learning how to run and everything like that he's like man you can either be a pitcher or a catcher be a pitcher be a pitcher <laughs> and then that was the first way that they got him to try exercise and then the next way was he's like you don't want to get raped imagine there's a big black guy behind oh, you yeah. and <laughs> i just was like what the hell <laughs> did i just hear <laughs> and i cracked up like i that, i think that was the first series uh in anime that's actually like legitimately had me laughing <laughs> out loud about um while well, i was just by myself watching it uh because it just caught me off guard like usually i'm used to watching a british series and i can kind of get that from those um where they're gonna be like funny and they're gonna like poke at fun of like social stereotypes and they're gonna poke at fun of uh the social grounds that we know but to actually have that in an anime blew my mind and caught me totally off guard it was kind of right we <laughs> right field um yeah when it uh hit me the first time and i think that it was that episode the one with the track 
uh, field that really set into my mind, oh, this is not your typical anime. You're going to encounter some stuff here that um, is going to really like push the boundaries of what's socially acceptable. <laughs> so you want to know one of the things that I thought was um, kind of interesting that I've, I, I haven't seen many many shows as far as anime do is especially like these older ones where there's only 20 episodes there's two things that stood out to me a lot one of them was there were several times where they broke that fourth wall and they acknowledged it and i thought that was so funny because he was you know there was the episode where he was like oh this is the episode where we have to do this yeah okay let's do that and I was just like, I, I love that they did that because you don't see the character actually saying that. You can mm-hmm. just, you just have to visualize it kind of thing. And the second oh, yeah. one was they kept up with a theme. So I don't know if you guys realized it, but in the theme of each episode, the uh, the one guy, the I can't remember his name now, the one guy with black hair, he kept, I think it was Hajime, mm-hmm. he, uh, he kept bringing up the fact that he was not getting panties from the main character, Sasuke. Yes, yes. And each episode, he was making some sexual comment to her. And I like that they maintained that theme where, like, it would have randomness throughout the entire episode. And then at some point, he's either trying to hit on her or talk about her underwear. And yeah. It, and it would be at random moments. Like there was the the rabbit episode where they're walking down the hallway outside and he's like hey i just want to let you know i'm still waiting on those panties that you owe me and i was mm-hmm. like whoa that was like two episodes ago what's going on you know yeah <laughs> like um, he didn't, didn't I, forget yeah i think at one point they actually brought up the um episode itself like he's like hey uh, uh you still haven't given me the panties from episode da da um I know for a fact that there was an episode where he needed help with, I think it was tutoring, and he actually said, I'll give you back your panties if you uh, help yep. me out. Yep. And she was like, oh, fine. I was like, wow, they're, they are riding that panty train till it just dies. So let's talk about the plot of the story for a little bit, um, aside from all the jokes and stuff like that. The main focus on the whole the whole series, right, is we have we have Satsuki and her little brother and you know, they move into this new town because, you know, their mom died, right? Um, and as they're going to this new school, they meet these random kids who are part of like a supernatural um club. And they come across like the old, this old school that ends up being haunted with all of these urban legends um, from Japan just melded together. So the basis of the story is Satsuki realizes that her mom was this uh, raging lesbian. (laughs) uh, Aside from a raging lesbian, she was an exorcist, like for ghosts, right? So she's got like this spiritual power. So she starts realizing that because they're tearing down the mountain behind the school the ghosts are now coming back and now it's her and her friend's job to put them back to where they came from now the original story i know you guys didn't watch it it was pretty boring let's be honest it was you know the you know the regular subtitles were boring um the whole story was it wasn't as captivating as the english dub now the english dub still kept with the story they just decided to take their own innovative twist on it and i think that's what made the show a lot more enjoyable was because of that um and that's also one of the reasons why it's popular now so one of the other things i wanted to point out was do you guys remember leo um the jew Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I like how you just said the Jew. <laughs> we both just, oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember Leo. All right, so I don't, it was bothering me the whole time I was watching the show. I was like, I, who is that voice actor? Like, he sounds so familiar. Like, I know I've seen him in a lot of stuff. And I ended up looking him up, and his name's Greg Ayers, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, what has he been in? And I was like, Oh my gosh, he's been in Neon Genesis Evangelion. 
He's been in um, Sister Princess, Full Metal Alchemist. He's been in, I don't know if you guys seen Gans, but he's been in Gans, Birthday I've Girl. I've seen all those except for Sister Princess. Um, but he's been in, he's probably a really big voice actor. I know he's been in um, uh, Dragon Ball Super as Frost and Goldo. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Um, hmm. He's also in My Hero Academia, so he's he's a pretty well known um, voice actor for the most Has part. Has some range. But the the one anime that his voice really that I really remember him from as soon as I looked him up was um, Kokoro Connect, which we'll talk about some other time. But um, I was like, oh, that's what he's from, and I I was very the voice acting is is just so funny also do you guys remember the episode in ghost stories where it had the painter yes yes okay so he kidnapped the girl the christian girl <laughs> the one who the one who was getting possessed by uh, Sasuke's mom yes yeah the one who constantly <laughs> is condemning people to hell and is like oh well you're going to hell <laughs> your mom yeah. she might be going to hell too <laughs> like, I'm yeah. just like Dang! This girl needs to chill. She was funny. I like uh, the scene where they're actually in the hospital, and uh, she's like, "Yeah, no, I was a raging." And then like they start bleeping out what she's saying because she's just cursing and she's going on fucking tangent. She's like, "Yeah, no, I was a raging slut, like a fucking." And then she just like went in on herself. She's like, "I was also into drugs and stuff." I was like, "Jesus." What the? Do you remember the part where the lady's talking about her daughter? She's like, uh, she's like, well, I guess once a whore, always a whore. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, that's when uh, that was the girl that um, was trying to possess the Christian girl, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The girl that looked like she was in the, <laughs> the like looked like another ring girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, let's go over some let's uh, let's go over some key points. Um, so Daniel, um, as far as watching episodes one through twenty, what would you say was the the one episode or the one moment where it really stuck with you throughout the series? Like what stuck with me that this was like a different kind of anime kind of thing? Yeah. Or um. I mean, honestly, from, like, early the beginning of the show, where they, it's just really about what they were saying, like, I came to the show, I was like, okay, obviously I saw that it was an older anime, because I could tell by the art, and, but just really what caught me was the fact of what they were saying, and I don't remember what was the first thing they said, but it was just more of, like, how they, they're using slurs and all that kind of stuff, and it was just, like, more like, uh, that's kind of like how Andrew said at the beginning. I was like, I was like, is this the actual show? I was literally gonna message you guys. I was like, hey, Kay, what do you have us watching here? Like, is this the actual <laughs> thing? Like, so it was really just of what the they were saying in the show. It wasn't like a specific episode. It could have just been straight off from episode one, because from episode one they were saying stuff like that, and I was just like, whoa, like, <laughs> I was like, this this must not be the right show. Like, this definitely isn't the right show. Okay. But honestly, it was just from episode one, just from the beginning, just because of what they were saying. Um, but yeah, it was just more of that, especially like when they started bringing in like you know using like the homosexual uh, homosexual slurs and stuff like that. He's like, <laughs> I don't know, it just had me dying. Or when they called the kid retarded, I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, <laughs> I was like it was just more, but from the first episode. I mean, think about it. Can you <laughs> let's let's put it this way? In the Japanese version, he had a lot more lines. But because I guess um, the American actors hated his lines so much, they were just like, "Nope, the rest of the episode he's gonna be like." <laughs> yeah, just like cry baby ass bitch. <laughs> yeah, to say the least. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I. You know the thing that I think what I found funny was uh, that scene with the doll, where uh, they were like, "Yeah, no, you can't have this doll. Dolls aren't for you," and everything like that. And then he started crying about it. And then like when the sister had called him down uh it caught me off guard because i didn't expect him to like grow up hair so quickly but <laughs> she called him down he was like man you're such a bitch and she, she's like what did you say he's like i have an itch <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like what <laughs> I was, oh man 
and, and then they just went on from there. Um, but <laughs> the whole kid, bro, is just the worst at all times. <laughs> okay, Andrew, so we're going to ask you the same question then. Um, from start to finish, what would you say is the one scene that kind of captivated you to keep, to want to keep watching? Oh, gosh. Um, I think, like I said earlier, uh, it, like I have to refer back to the track scene, like the one where they were on the track field, because that's when I knew that this was going to be absolutely um, it. Because at first I was like, oh, man, you know, I, I have a hard time watching some of the older anime just because I know like older anime uh, will sometimes get lost in the whole uh, like the old anime tropes you know what it is like it's very basic they don't really go with too much into like extra fundamentals and everything like that um and even like the comedy anime like they're really slapstick comedies and it's like uh that would have been funny if i was born a little bit earlier but um having it actually like be something that i could relate to a bridge series that are being made now like the youtube the bridge series and stuff like that i think that's what caught me off guard so the track field is once again, like, where I kind of got onto the bandwagon of, oh, yeah, I need to watch all of this and see what's going on because that track field scene <laughs> had me dying. <laughs> it was the whole scene. It wasn't even just, like, part of it. Like, every time he talked on that track field, he was just absolutely hilarious. Like I said, him starting off with uh, saying, yeah, no, you won't be the pitcher, not the catcher. Be a pitcher, be a pitcher. That, like, <laughs> just killed me. And I, I just died. <laughs> but yeah, so I would say that's uh, where I kind of got hooked on, where um, when I saw that they weren't like really sticking to uh, what is necessarily socially acceptable, um, they were more like, yeah, no, this is a joke. This is all in fun of games. We're making fun of stereotypes and everything like that. Um, we're get, like, I like that breakdown. It, it's something that we don't get to enjoy as much nowadays because people will get a little bit more uh, heartbroken or sensitive about it. Um, and it's understandable why some people would feel the way that they do. But personally, like, I laugh at uh, Andrew, the stereotypes and everything like that. What was that? Andrew, breathe. That? Breathe. You've been talking for like three minutes straight, bro. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, my, my fault. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> like it was a, it was an you easy question. And you wrote me a freaking novel. What's going on? <laughs> hey, you know how I am. You know how I am. You know notes. I'm gonna give me the cliff notes. <laughs> I don't have cliff notes. You so basically the track notes. scene. <laughs> yeah. The basically track the track scene, scene is the track scene. That's all. The, like <laughs> the track scene. The track scene got me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was actually saying the line from Ghost Stories where she was getting attacked by uh, oh, yeah, the one chick. The she's like, <laughs> she's like give, me, give me the cliff notes. Give me the cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that scene. <laughs> oh, man, that scene describes my life perfectly. Give me the cliff notes. That's what I think everybody just tells me on a regular basis. <laughs> so, um, I know we mentioned it before starting the show, but I have to mention it now because... It will still be and will always be probably my favorite part in the whole show where we had the episode with the girl and the love for her rabbit. And everybody who has seen <laughs> ghost stories knows this scene. And if you don't, trust me, Google it, go on YouTube, watch the show. It's, it's so funny. We have an episode with a girl who, who loves her rabbit uh, a little too much. And the part where she's just like, it's not because you're a rabbit, it's because you're black, just threw me apart. And I, I was like, okay, so you're all right with sleeping and trying to have a relationship with your rabbit, but not if he's black. The bestiality is on the table. A but bestiality not is now on the table at this point. <laughs> but not interracial. That's where we draw the line. <laughs> and the other uh, part, they, 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 are, they were not afraid to go to those racist boundaries either, which I thought was funny because it made it, it, made it feel included. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys remember, it was towards the end um, of the series where they go to like the snow place. 
and right. like, to go skiing or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that snow girl yeah. that was saying, "Oh yeah, when I died, I was popular." Yeah, oh, yeah, no, I was yeah. popular. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in the beginning of the episode, it was funny because, as you know, it's all set in Japan, right? All they're all from <laughs> Japan. They're all Japanese people. <laughs> but the fact that she looks at the girl in the kimono and she's like, "I can't tell you yellow people apart." <laughs> <laughs> I was dead. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> You're yeah, they say that. A co- they reference that a couple of times throughout the show, uh, where oh, they're yeah, like, no, they- or they're like, they're just a bunch of Asians uh, or something like that. They say that a yeah. couple of times. Yeah, they yeah. make a lot of Asian jokes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think the it was prevalent, uh, prevalently uh, Asian jokes and uh, black jokes, and then I know that there was a few Mexican jokes thrown in there. And uh, I, I would say another really, really funny part is when uh, they were running to the police station when it was like a zombie apocalypse kind of deal going on. And uh, she's, you know, they run into the police station together and she's actually like yelling what they need help with. And then the guy comes in and he's like, here's a and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> My God. Oh, this show is just really good. Um, it was a, it was a lot better, which is funny because like, look. I don't know if "good" is the right word. It's just funny in general. Yeah, I mean, the show is just I funny. Des- I wouldn't describe it in a British series as good. I would just describe it as absolutely hilarious. Well, here's the thing: the I don't think the story, like the original story, is technically good. I think mm-hmm. I think the the English dub is good. And I think that's what made me want to keep watching it. Like, I binged watched it in, like, two days. But the thing is, is that I think I would watch it again. I honestly would watch it again. And I, I know this sounds really stupid, and he was probably the most annoying character in the show. But the kid made no. me laugh. He, he, well, yes, he made me laugh, but he was just so annoying. Like, I hated when he was like, <laughs> like, like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, those parts actually did have me laughing a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, and, I don't dude. like. Okay. And, my, my, this is my favorite part was when she mocked him because, like, I'm glad that they brought up the part that no one fucking <laughs> understands him. Because she's like, he was like, blah, 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 and she was like, blah, 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 and she's like, shit, the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so glad they did that because that's how I've been feeling. Like, if someone could talk for me, that's what she did right there. <laughs> like, that's how I felt exactly. And she talked oh. for me. She was like, you're retarded. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> or when she was, or the episode where they were finding the headless guy, and <laughs> he was the little kid was like, "Hey, did you guys hear that?" And she's like, "I hear you shutting the fuck up." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> and and then he goes seven. <laughs> I don't get that. Why did he say seven? Because the the original text he says something else, but he's holding up seven fingers. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, it, it is like in the first, and that's the thing. Like, um, I agree with you. Like, I don't like the kid, but I think it's because I don't like the kid that I like him in the. Well, let me. How do I put this? I like the fact that they fuck with him so much in the anime. No, I think like, the funniest part is they took this kid, took away pretty much all of his lines to make him sound, you know, s- you know, sob cry like ugly cry. And then uh-huh. they acknowledge the fact in almost, I would say a few episodes, they've acknowledged it, that he's dyslexic. And then when uh-huh. he actually has to read from the book with the headless episode, he, I, I'm not joking. I had to turn on my, uh, my captions. I had to turn my captions on to understand what the heck he was saying because <laughs> they made him read like a dyslexic. <laughs> so oh, yeah. The, all the words were backwards. Like, oh my <laughs> gosh. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Uh, I remember the uh, when the girl actually brought that up and she's like, oh yeah, you don't understand because you're dyslexic. And then she started speak Like, they started speaking in ways so that he couldn't understand. I was like, wow. <laughs> That's oh, Are you talking about when they, were, when they were eating at dinner and she's like, unte, bite, Flabate. Yeah. Yeah, I was exactly. like, I was like, they're speaking Sims, guys. They're speaking Sims. <laughs> I 
Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. We've all uh, done that at some point where we're like, I say, don't say, understand say, and then you just like add that on, and then everybody knows what the hell you're saying. But the fact that they were like, yeah, no, he just doesn't have common sense to like comprehend what's going on here. I just died. Just about died. Oh, man. That show was pretty funny, though. But yeah, it's definitely one of those ones where you have to you have to watch it for yourself to experience it because it's definitely it's it's a hundred percent different. Mm-hmm. I like the direction that they went with it, and I think with I think what they should do with animes that fail that bad, they should just sell it over to someone and be like, do whatever you want with it, and let them do that because the likelihood of it becoming popular is so high. I would actually like to see more of uh-huh. stuff like, like with ghost stories because it 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 makes you want it makes you want to watch it and it makes you want to keep yeah. going because you never know what the characters are going to say next. Yeah, I would I would definitely agree with that. Um, because that that show has you rolling from beginning to end. But it's like I said, it's it's one of those it's one of those animes that you know nobody talks about anymore. You know, everybody posts, everybody can talk about like all these mainstream ones that are happening out now. But there's so many gems from like the early 2000s, from the 90s, from the 80s, and you know they deserve some credit too. You know, mm-hmm. some that didn't yeah. age so well. Yeah, I agree. Well, I agree. Well, since we got that out of all, all of our system, um, I'm going to ask you guys one more question and then we'll close out. How's that sound? All right. Sounds like fun to me. Cool. All right. So, uh, Andrew, we'll start with you since you have a tendency to yab your mouth for like wow. 20 minutes. Starting off strong, <laughs> I see. Oh, yeah. I'm starting off. <laughs> I, learned, I learned a lot from ghost stories. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I see. Right. I okay. get you. Before we go on, do you guys remember that scene where they were like, uh, they're basically making that girl seem like she was having an orgasm? Oh, the team. Um, no, no, no. The girl, the main character girl, uh, when the, when uh, when they have like the 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 motorcycle dude, the headless motorcycle dude. Yeah. And she's like, "You want me to give you head? I'll give you head." And then she was like yelling and like she basically had like an orgasm <laughs> in that scene. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I- I honestly don't remember that scene that well. Um, I'm gonna have to rewatch dude, that because I don't remember she that. wakes up. She wakes up with the dude like on top of her. And I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. just rewatch it. Yeah, and the <laughs> and the guy's like, oh yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You know the funny thing is, one thing that we didn't cover this entire time was the fact that they do make so much sexual jokes and so many um, references to, like drinking and like smoking. Uh, weed and stuff like that like they go in depth they're like man you've been you i just sold you that swag and shit like that and these are all middle school kids if i'm correct like so like i think at one point they brought it up he's like man i'm in fourth grade i was like wait what (laughs) um you're in fourth grade and you're doing what now oh my god okay so i have to bring this part up too real quick before we get to our last question um do you remember the mary mary episode with the doll Yes. Okay. Remember when she called... Wait, I think it was... No, no, no. It wasn't the Mary Mary one. It was a different one. It might have been the one where um, she drew the lipstick to capture the one chick. But she... You know, the one girl kind of, like, disappears, so to speak. Yeah, that so wasn't Mary called, Mary. That was... Uh, yeah, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the, the one. witch episode where yeah, they're yeah. faking being witches. Yeah. So... <laughs> Do you remember the part where she calls the girl's house to find out if she's there because she disappeared mm-hmm. and the mom oh, answers? God, I know what you're about to say, and yeah. she just went like African jive on her. She's like she's like, Who? You better get your crackhead <laughs> ass off. <laughs> I was like, Oh my god. Yeah. Bro <laughs> That was I, I didn't expect that at all. When I saw that scene, I I died. <laughs> And then she gets, and then she gets off the phone, and she's like, "Motherfucker!" Uh huh. 
Oh All my right. gosh. Alright, I had to Let's throw, hit this I, last question. Yeah, I had to throw that out there because that one made me laugh. Yeah, or how the girl, uh, when she was talking to that redneck lady upstairs, and she's like, Yeah, nah, I've been out here for a while now. And then she's like, Man, why am I still talking like this redneck hillbilly? I was like, Wow. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, so uh, on to our last question. Um, like I said, Andrew, we'll start with you. If right. if you were to meet somebody, and you probably will, um, who who liked anime and had never seen ghost stories before, um, how would you recommend it to them? Oh, how would I recommend it? Yeah, like what are um, your, what are your final thoughts on it? I think I would start off with asking them if they've seen any of Bird series and asking if they like them, um, because that's always a good way to get somebody's like temperature and gauge of like how they feel about things because if you hate the series then you're gonna yeah like you know you feel around you get the temperature of the room that, that's the saying you get the temperature of the room yeah no, hold, on, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on hey uh daniel are you hot or cold right now Shut the fuck up. Don't act like you guys haven't heard the saying gauge the temperature of the room that's the saying i never you guys can suck I don't know oh, what you second never rate third world the country you the come room. from, but I've never wow. heard of testing the temperature of the room. Um, okay, <laughs> I've never heard it either, to be honest. <laughs> that's all I gotta say about that. Dictionary, guys. that that's like, an I've actual heard energy phrase. of the room. I've heard energy, <laughs> but temperature? Hmm. Yeah. Seems pretty mild yes. in here. I don't know. There's a few people sweating <laughs> in the corner. He wants the temperature of the person who's going to stick his finger in their butt and find out temperature. What the hell? <laughs> um, just took that to a whole nother level. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, anyways, continue. Sorry, my yeah, bad. Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, no, you're all good. Um, but yeah, so I would probably ask if they've like watched any of Bruce series or anything mm-hmm. like that. Um, now, obviously, if they haven't watched any of Bruce series, then I would say, yeah, if you're wanting to watch an anime that's like not your traditional anime that pushes social norms, watch this because it's absolutely hilarious and if you hate racial jokes as well as jokes about sexual uh sexualizing people and things like that then probably not for you um if they love a bridge series then i'm just gonna be on the bandwagon of oh yeah you gotta fucking watch this but that, that's pretty much how i'd go about it it wouldn't be anything too compli- complicated okay. i just have to feel around okay <laughs> all right uh <laughs> feel around for that temperature <laughs> you damn straight. You damn straight. I have to feel around for that temperature. So, how do you, uh, out of curiosity, how do you feel around for a temperature? Like, do you touch their forehead while you recommend something to one of them, or you know, what do you do? Uh, no, I backhand them, and then I see how they feel about it. You know, <laughs> I see how warm my hand is at the end. You know, if it's a little bit warm, then they're a little too hot for it. But if it's if it's cold, then you know they're chill. They're chill. That's how I feel. Okay. All right. All right, Daniel, um, as far as your thoughts for the show, um, what are your final takeaways from it, and how would you recommend it to someone? So, I mean, final takeaways is just, like, they give no fucks. Like, if you ever thought there was a line to anything, they cross that line. There's no lines for them. There's just zero lines for them. So I'll just kind of recommend it to people that I know that are kind of into those kind of jokes, people that I know don't really get offended by stuff like that. So I'll just be like, just like people like us, I'll be like, hey, like, I know you guys are like, like, kind of like dark humor or, mm-hmm. you know, when you like anime, check out the show. It's freaking hilarious. I was like, story is not that good. But I mean, trust me, you'll they'll have you laughing like mm-hmm. nonstop. Like if you ever expected something, don't expect because this is just going to hit you with everything that you've never expected to be hit with. <laughs> like you're going to be like, oh, he said it was funny, but. Let's see, it's probably not that funny, and then you're going to get hit with, like, call, get, getting called retarded, all this stuff. So, I mean, <laughs> I'll just hit them with that. Be like, trust me, you'll laugh. You'll be surprised. Yeah. That was pretty good. All right. Awesome. Well, uh, my final thoughts are, uh, I honestly would watch it again. Uh, I am watching I would, it again. Watch it again so. I think that when I thought I was on the right track of how the comedy was going to go, it would slap me to my right and let me know that it's going in a different direction this time. So honestly, like it kept me, it kept me captivated for sure. And I, it it was just really, really funny. Um, a lot funnier than what I was expecting it to be. And 
they always took a different took they always took a different turn for each episode that they did and it was good i thought it was really good so i hope in the future they do this with with more and if i were to recommend it to someone i would just say look here's this title you have to watch it if you don't watch it you're missing out on something really good um right you're missing out on something that's definitely different out of the mm-hmm. typical norm of other animes and stuff and you just gotta you just gotta put yourself in there be spontaneous you know well other than that uh i think we're done uh you guys want to give a shout out goodbye yeah sure goodbye hey well thanks guys for joining us on this first episode ever we'll work on it as we go um make sure to hit that like button subscribe whatever follow i'll put everybody's names down at the bottom and we'll all see you next time bye bye